Can you uh, shed some light on how the gold demand globally and in India has played out in the December quarter and in uh, 2021? Demand is up uh, for the global by 10%, largely driven by a revival of the consumer side of the demand. By consumer side, what we mean is jewelry and bars and coins. Uh, most of the markets have shown a return to the pre-pandemic levels. It could be due to the uh, pent-up demand being released and lot relaxations of lockdowns, all of which have contributed to uh, a very, very big surge in both jewelry and bars and coins. There are two different stories, of course. Jewelry is more to do with uh, social functions coming back, uh, you know, lockdowns being relaxed, and uh, people coming out in, in large numbers, having a lot more savings, because there were no other forms of spending, and much of that could have flown into gold, and a softer price as well. So all these factors have contributed to having one of the best quarters for uh, uh, the consumer demand. Specific to India, if you had to say, this has been one of the best quarters in our data series. Quarter four I'm talking about. So this is, if you look at India, it's a 343 tons, uh, you know, demand for the fourth, uh, third, fourth quarter, which is one of the best. So it's a 80, uh, yeah, almost 85% growth over what we saw last year. Again, last year, while the first three quarters were very, very different, and particularly quarter two and quarter three, quarter four was near normal because there were a lot of relaxation. So against that comparison, this has shown a very, very significant growth. And as I said, largely driven by softer prices, social functions coming back, people having more money to save, so they probably invested in gold and a certain expectations of what probably the gold price will do in the next uh, you know, few years. Okay. Given the US Fed meet outcome and the possibility of a sooner than expected hike in rates now, how do you see the demand playing out the, for the rest of 2022? Well, as I said, part of this is also the pent up demand. You know, people couldn't buy quite a bit and they came out, uh, lockdown the restrict, uh, were uh, relaxed and, you know, vaccination program is considered uh, successful. So there was a general uh, 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 positive sentiment as well. Now, will this repeat in 2022? We believe, yes, there will be a new normal, but whether it will be the kind that we have seen, you know, 340 done. 340 tons of only just uh, to uh, you know uh, give you a benchmark it was 2013 second quarter which was one of the best that is when we had 80 20 because the demand rose so high that you know the finance ministry came out and said we can't afford this and we need uh, uh, to curb this this has even exceeded that uh, uh, demand and the price at that time was 40 percent lower so you can imagine what kind of investments are flown into gold. Now, will this get repeated? Yeah, demand will continue to be high in our view. Demand will continue to be supported by people coming out, higher savings, uh, outlook on price, outlook on gold, social functions. Can you quantify the demand expectation and the uh, price average price points in 2022? As you know, we don't forecast the prices at all. All we are saying is, yes, there is a, a expectation of interest rate rise, but it is not clearly only interest rates which we should be looking at we should be looking at real interest rates we should be looking at inflation and uh, there are many other factors that uh, drive people to buy gold yes as i said we will see a new normal uh, we have in the past seen 800 850 tons of demand on an average post demonetization we saw that you know coming down dramatically average to 700 tons now, we cannot parse the reasons for this. It could be due to you know, demonetization, it could be due to more compliance, you know, ban uh, cards and things like that. We, we can't say how much of it was due to which reason. But we know that overall, post demonetization, it really dropped. We might see this going back in the uh, new environment of mandatory hallmarking, better compliance, with all that, we might see it going back to the pre-pandemic, uh, pre-demonetization levels. How do you see the global central banks respond to all these uh, developments going ahead? What does it do to the gold ETF demand in India as well as globally? 
Well, as you know, the globe, uh, yeah, first thing, let me deal with the ETF part. There was an inflow of 9 tons in India. It was, again, a good year. But in the overall scheme of things, you know, a 38 ton uh, AUM is uh, good, but it is uh, uh, compared with a jewelry or a basket points demand, it is still a very small fraction. Coming back to Central Bank, I think it was one of the uh, uh, best years again. Uh, uh, it was much, much uh, better than what we saw in uh, 2020. Uh, they bought nearly about uh, uh, 480 tons of gold. We think they will continue to buy. We did a recent survey. Our central bank team did a recent survey of central banks, and they are very positively inclined towards gold. Now, central bank, uh, uh, you know, uh, forecasting a quantum is always a difficult thing because it is more a question of policy than pure price play. So, looking at the actions, we believe that they are positively inclined towards gold. And therefore, the buying will continue. Thank you, Son. Thank you so much for sparing the time today. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn.